y'all and welcome to today's video. This is going to be a good old fashioned favorites video. I'm going to be sharing with y'all some products that I am loving right now and I do have a lot of stuff to share. Skincare, hair care, makeup, we're going to talk about it all. And if you're new here, I want to say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week, but I can't wait to tell you about all this awesome stuff I have. So let's jump into it. <music> say a thank you to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by City Beauty. Now I want to tell you about my favorite product that I've been using from City Beauty and that is their Invisicrape Body Balm. I love this stuff. I have been testing this since January. So I have been using this on my body in the winter, in the spring, in the summer. I have just been loving this body balm. This is so hydrating on the skin. I absolutely love it. This has so many great skincare ingredients, but if you are not new to my channel, you know that I talk about how my skin loves niacinamides. I love niacinamide in skincare and Lo and behold, this body balm has niacinamide. So that is a skincare ingredient that I know and love. And my skin just, it loves it. It makes my skin appear so much more hydrated, less crepey. It makes my skin look more smooth. I put this all over my body. Basically from neck down, it's getting covered in the body balm. Now, from now until... August 16th, City Beauty has given me a discount code to share with y'all. I will put it in the description box. I'll have a link there, everything like that. But if you use code HEATHER50, you can save. So definitely, definitely check out that link down in the description box. But I just, look, I have a full one too. I have been loving, loving, loving this balm. I take baths every single night and I always want my skin to feel hydrated. I want to make sure that I'm keeping my skin moisturized so that, you know, I'm not, I'm not aging myself when I don't have to. So having the niacinamide in here, there are lipids in here for hydration. It just, it's really keeping my skin nice and plump. It looks smoother. It looks more refreshed. So after I get out of the bath every night, I slather myself in this. And one thing that I want to mention about this balm that I've never heard anybody talk about is how quickly it absorbs into my skin. That's a huge thing for me. If I'm rubbing in some type of skincare, lotion, body balm, anything, and I'm having to rub it in for forever to get it to sink into the skin. That's a huge time waster. I do not like that. So this, I apply it and it, it, it soaks into the skin so quickly. It just leaves me feeling hydrated. I absolutely love this. If you were looking for a body balm that is going to hydrate, it's going to help, you know, your skin, it's going to help maybe fight the look of aging, things like that, things that I think about, definitely check out this Invisicrepe Body Balm from City Beauty because I'm loving it so much. Again, I will have the link down below. Thank you, City Beauty, for sponsoring this part of today's video. Okay, let's talk about this Carla Fix Potion. I have been loving this. I'm so loving this Fix Potion. It's so great to put on the eyelid to really make those special eyeshadow shades pop. I think it's so nice. And I've had some people ask me like, what is the difference between this Carla Fix Potion and other type of glitter primers, glitter glues? First of all, I really like that it comes in a pot. I don't have to squeeze it out of anything. I can just kind of open the pot 
<laughs> I can tap my finger or my applicator in, put it on the lid. It's just very nice and convenient. I don't have to worry about picking up too much product, squeezing out too much where I can't like put it back in, where I feel like I'm wasting anything. And this is also very thin. It takes a tiny amount and it's such a thin kind of adhesive primer, whatever you want to call it, where I can put my special shadows on top and I just feel like they look so beautiful. It draws down quickly enough that I don't have to wait forever for it to dry, but not so fast that I'm like rushing to get the shadow on top. It's just like that perfect medium. It's hard to describe, but like I've layered the shade Austin from my Adept palette over top of the Fix Potion today. And it just, it gives that tackiness. It gives that stickiness that really helps beautiful shades pop. So if you have some special shades, you know, some singles from like Cleona, one of my favorite brands, Adept, Unearthly, Odin's Eye. If you just have those special shadows that you really want to make pop, definitely check out this Carla Potion. It also wears really well throughout the day so I don't get creasing on my shadow, anything like that. It's become a new favorite for me. So I definitely had to mention that to y'all. Okay, so I've talked about the Carla, which was a little bit newer. I wanted to talk about a product that I've been loving now for years. <laughs> for years, I've been loving this. And when I was thinking about this favorites video, I was like, I just have to talk about the Lunar Beauty lip glosses. I have bought every single Lunar Beauty lip gloss that they carry on the website. I actually just placed an order on the Lunar Beauty site for a new one because I love these so much and I needed a replacement of one of my shades. I forget the name, but my favorite glosses from Lunar Beauty, again, I have them all, I love them all, I buy them all, but I really love the sparkly glosses. I love a sparkly lip gloss, I just do. I love if it has a little bit of sparkle to it. So the three that I chose to pull, again, I love them all, but I pulled out Enchantment. This is the shade that I'm wearing today. This one is like a milky gloss with a lot of different color reflex, mostly kind of like purpley pink ones, but there's definitely a beautiful shimmer to this. I have it layered over a Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade Cosmic Vibes, but I also love Starlight. This one is a little more like pinky nude with just a very faint sparkle, not an overpowering sparkle. And then Coven, this is one of the newer ones. I think this launched Halloween last year, maybe it was part of a set. And this one is even lighter with some really, really pretty reflex. I think we have some gold and champagne colors. The formula of Lunar Beauty glosses are very thin they're a very like water-like texture, but they smell really good. They look very beautiful. And again, you don't have that harsh lip gloss feeling on your lips. They're just very water-like. I love these. I mean, that's why I keep buying them. Okay, next up, let's talk about these Juvia's Place Blush Duos. I love these blush duos and they recently launched some new shades. I love these blush duos. First of all, they are $16. I will have everything I talk about linked in the description box below. Any coupon codes, anything like that, it'll all be in the description box. But I love that these are $16 and you get two beautiful blushes. I love that they did duos and You'll see as we kind of talk about all of them, how nice the shades are. What I really love doing is mixing them, but you can use them on their own. You can layer them. And if you are somebody who struggles with blush showing up on your skin, if you feel like it always just kind of goes on and then fades away, check out these from Juvia's Place because they are pigmented and still buildable and blendable and they last so beautifully on the skin. I have oily skin, so if something lasts on me, you know it's good because my oils will definitely eat makeup away, but not with these blushes. This is volume six. I think this one is so beautiful. I also have volume five. This color 
absolutely beautiful. I really, really love using this duo, going in with this shade first and then buffing it in with this shade to kind of lighten it a bit. It's so nice. This one is volume four. This is the one I have on today and I layered this one. So I started off with the deepest shade and I concentrated it more back here and then I blended towards the front with this lighter shade. This is really, really beautiful. It looks very light, but it's super beautiful. Don't be intimidated by blushes that look super dark or look super light. Try them out. You might like playing with some different fun colors. But after that, we have volume three, which are these super intense shades. But again, go in with a very fluffy blush brush use a light hand and they're going to be so beautiful. I've used all of these, all of these colors, and I absolutely love them all. Next up, we have volume two. These are more like nude light colors. So if you're intimidated by the deeper shades, check these out. We also have volume one. Again, we have a beautiful kind of orangey tone. These definitely make me think of fall and I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of this one once October rolls around, but I have just been loving those blushes. I think they look so nice on the skin and they're a favorite. Okay, I pulled two eyeshadow palettes, the palettes that in my opinion are the best palettes of 2022. We'll start off, of course, I have to talk about my collab palette with Adept Cosmetics. Doing this palette was an absolute dream come true. 2022 is the year I finally got to share it with y'all, share it with the world. And I'm just loving this still, of course. I am wearing several shades from this palette on my eyes now. This palette is so used and loved, you can tell. And this isn't even the first one that I've used up that looks like this. This is just the most recent one that I have dipped into this much. I have matte shades in here, multi-chromes in here shiny, sparkly shades, just everything that I could want is in this palette. So listen, I know I talk about it all the time, but I cannot do a favorites video without talking about my collab with Adept because it's not just a favorite of right now, it's a favorite of the year, of the century, of the millennia, of everything. Like that is a favorite palette that is not going away. It's so beautiful. But the, the other palette that I'm loving is, of course, one of my best friend's palette. This is Angelica Negus and Odin's Eye. I love this palette. And I will say, even though me and Angie are friends, of course, I was a subscriber of Angie before I ever met her. I love her makeup style. I think, of course, not only is she so beautiful, but she's so talented with makeup and she has such an eye for color. I love the Odin's Eye eyeshadow formulas and they collab on this beautiful palette. You have this beautiful kind of green and pink color story. You have a multi-chrome down here. You have some beautiful sparkly shades, beautiful matte shades. I'm wearing this shade right here, fluorescence, right on the inner corner. So beautiful. There's also some nice shades in here where you can create a neutral look if you want to. It's just like the perfect creator and Angie collabing with the perfect brand Odin's Eye, their formula, her creativity. It was just like a match meant to be, you know, such a beautiful palette. So when I'm thinking of my favorites, of course I have to talk about those because both of those palettes did release earlier in the year, but I'm still not over them. I don't think I'll ever get over them. All right, let's talk about a highlight palette. Again, this is not something new. I bought this palette when it first launched and I have been loving it, loving it, loving it, but I really like rediscovered my love for it recently. You've seen me wearing the Unearthly Cosmetics Low Light Palette in a ton of videos. I've been so into colorful highlighters this year, just fun, different shades. A lot of brands are coming out with new colorful highlighters and to me it just it's really fun with makeup to play with some colorful highlighters so the glow i have on today is this low light palette i love the formulas in this palette i'm actually wearing these two shades lightly 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 mixed together and if you want to do a colorful highlight 
but you don't want to make it so intense to where that's all you see on your face. Take a brush that's a little smaller so you can keep the highlighter exactly where you want it instead of a large fluffy brush that may fluff the product and it may like get away from you, you know, and become too overwhelming. Start with a smaller brush and try some colorful highlighters. The formula in this low light palette though is really, really special. It has some sparkle to it, but it has this, it's, it, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not like a transparent formula, but it is very buildable. So like I said, you can go in kind of light today. Like I, you can go in light today. You can go in light like I did today. I mean, this green and this shade right here, just kind of mixing them and going in with a really light amount. It's not like wham, this green stripe on my face. This formula, you can do like I did today, or you can go in with the second layer and you can make it like more impactful, more colorful. But the sparkle in these shades, the way they blend, the way they like sit on the skin or sink into the skin, it's just super duper beautiful and flattering. These are huge pans. Like you get a lot of product in here. I'm very excited to see more highlighters from Unearthly, but this palette is just like everything I want and more in a colorful highlight. Okay, let me jump over to a couple of hair care products. These are products I've been loving. I want to share with y'all. The first is the uh, Sexy Hair Texture Sunny Vibes Texturizing Spray Gel. Now, don't let spray gel scare you. I have this in my hair today. What I like to do is after I curl my hair, I will kind of brush my fingers through it. I always like to kind of comb out my curls whether that's with a brush or just with my fingers. Today, I just ran through my curls with my fingers. I pick this up and I spray it underneath. I spray it on top and it just gives me this texture that I love. I don't know why they call it a spray gel because when I think of gel, I think of like goopy, sticky, but this you, you definitely have texture to your hair. I mean, that's what I want. I want to feel some texture in my hair, but it gives some hold and it gives, it just gives that beautiful texture that I want. I've been using this. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my last favorites video. I know I've put so many of my friends on this product. It's just, it's so good. This is the second bottle I'm on. I mean, you get a lot of product in here, but I use it a lot and I've had to repurchase it. It's just so, so, so good. The second product I actually saw somebody using on Instagram. I forget if I was watching like an Instagram reel or what it was, but they were talking about this Kevin Murphy Simmer, Shimmer Shine Repairing Shine Mist. So it looks like this and then you shake it up and it has like this shimmer in here. So this has a very oily consistency but my hair is looking so shiny right now and it's this product. So let me just tell you, it is easy to go overboard with this. Like I said, it has an oil-like texture to it, but it gives my hair so much shine. So if you decide you wanna try this product, go in lightly. The first time I used this, I think I did like six sprays to this side over here, like six to this side over here. And I was like, oh, I kind of went overboard. A little bit goes a long way. I usually will like half my hair like this. I'll pick it up and I'll do like three sprays to this side, three sprays to this side. Sometimes I will spray it into my hand, rub my hands and then run it through. But it really just gives your hair some shine. It feels very nourishing to the hair. And it's, it's just so, so beautiful. Like you can see it looks shiny in the bottle and it gives that shine to your hair. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. All, all the wonderful buzzwords I feel about that product. Okay, these new Sigma Loose powders, 
I did not expect to love this much. These are the Soft Focus Setting Powders. I'm wearing the shade Buttermilk. Absolutely love this shade to set under my eyes. Now this is a translucent powder. They do have four shades, but they're, they're pretty translucent. There is a tiny bit of a tint, but I love this powder. Now I told y'all I have oily skin, so I am very picky when it comes to powders. I try a ton of powders and sometimes powders are nice. I'm like, I, yeah, I like this, but I always go back to my tried and true favorites. And what really makes a powder stand out to me is if I'm wanting to use it every day because I'm somebody who changes up my makeup routine a lot. I'm constantly testing new things. I'm constantly trying new things. And when I get new products, I always go into them expecting them to be good products. But I will say with powder, I'm always slightly skeptical because I have oily skin. I don't want to look flat matte, but I want a powder that's going to set everything in place that my oils are not going to eat through and break through and a powder that's going to kind of mattify my pores without making me look flat. And that's what this powder is. This powder has so many like, so many indescribable qualities. <laughs> No, I'm going to describe it. This is not a flat matte powder. This powder will mattify. It will kind of blur the look of your pores and things when you set it down, but it also has a skin-like finish to it. So I love that it's called the Soft Focus Setting Powder and not just a mattifying powder because if you're looking for that flat matte, this powder isn't it. You're still going to have that look of skin to your face. If you look at my face, my makeup has only been on for about an hour right now and I'm set with powder, but I still have that skin-like look. I don't look just like I took a ton of powder and put it all over my face. I still have that that kind of skin-like sheen and that's what these powders are going to give. I really love them. I think they're super duper nice and I have been using them every single day for several weeks now. I absolutely love these. Okay, I've got to talk about kind of the newest favorite, and that is these e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filters. This is a glow booster for radiant skin. I love these things. Oh my gosh, I have three shades. I ordered them because I was like, I don't know what shade to get. And let me tell you, I've been mixing the shade four and five, and then I've been using shade six to kind of like use as almost like a cream liquid bronzer. Now, in my opinion, these are not an exact dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I have been judging these on their own. Like, how is this product when I'm not comparing it to something else? And I have to say, I love it. These have a very light coverage, but more than the Charlotte Tilbury, and I don't think they're quite as glowy, glowy as the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm wearing these as a primer today. I'm wearing shade, um, what did I say, four and five mixed together. I think four is going to be perfect for me as we move into the winter and I'm not outside as much, but I'm loving them. I'm using these as a primer. I know some people like to wear these on their own. My oily skin is not loving products like that on their own. I definitely have to go in with powder to kind of mattify things, but I really love using those as a glowy primer. I think they look so beautiful on the skin, but they're one of those products that you can wear lots of different ways. And I really, really like that. I just think e.l.f. really did a great job with these. I think the packaging feels nice and luxurious. You have a huge doe foot applicator. I think that's really nice. It makes it easy to apply. I usually just dot some on my skin and then buff it in with a brush. And I've been really enjoying using that as a primer. I just think it's super duper nice. Definitely, definitely a favorite right now. 
All right, y'all, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I really hope that you will check out the link down in the description box. Visit City Beauty. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Tell me, what are your favorite products right now? I love hearing from y'all. I love hearing your recommendations. Do you have some old favorites like I did with the Lunar Beauty glosses? Do you have some new favorites like I did with the e.l.f. halo filter thing? Let me know. I love hearing from y'all, but I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that y'all choose to spend your time with me. I hope you're having an awesome, amazing, wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you very soon in another video because trust me, I have lots of videos coming. <laughs> Bye.